So, we're here to talk about Kohlberg's stages of moral development, and his theory holds that moral reasoning, the basis of ethics, has six developmental stages, each with a more adequate response to the moral dilemmas than the last. The six stages are organized into three levels, pre-conventional morality, conventional morality, post-conventional morality. All right, first we're going to talk about pre-conventional morality. There, well, the first stage is obviously stage one, and that's where individuals focus on the direct consequences of their actions on themselves, and usually in cases where this is present, there's a higher authority or deference to a higher authority. In stage two, correct and morally right behavior is defined as whatever the, in the individual believes to be in their self-interest. There's limited interest in needs of others, and they mostly follow what they want. Alright, and conventional morality has stages three and four. Stage three is where the individual conforms to moral social standards. They begin to attack, attempt to live up to the expectations of being good. They want the approval that comes with doing something that's deemed morally good by society. In stage four, they know it is important to follow morally correct standards so they can maintain society and maintain its well-being. All right, post-conventional morality has stages five and six. Stage five is where the world is viewed as having different opinions, rights, and values which should be respected and tolerated by other societies. Uh, laws are regarded as social contracts rather than social edicts where people must follow. In stage six, moral reasoning is based on abstract reasoning universe, using universal ethical principles. Laws are valid, but only if they're grounded in justice. Decisions are reached absolutely and the individual acts as they do because it is right and for no other reason. Now, all of these stages are based on the idea that humans are inherently communicative, uh, reasonable, and possess the ability to understand the desires and needs that other people have. Colbert came to these stages by proposing more dilemmas to subjects and asking what they would do in these situations. An example of a dilemma he would use would be the Heinz Dilemma. Now, the Heinz Dilemma is a situation where there's a man whose wife is terminally ill with some kind of cancer. And there has been a new development of a very expensive treatment of radon to uh, treat the cancer and fully cure it. Now, that said, though, the treatment's been marked up a thousand percent from the actual cost of production. And after collecting all the money he can, he still doesn't have enough for the full retail cost of the drug. So he goes to the creator and he asks him to mark the price down just for him or to just cut him a break. But this guy says no because he's not really a nice person. So his dilemma is, should he steal the drug and save his wife because he can't pay for the drug? Or should he leave it and let his wife die because it's morally wrong to just steal something? So Kohlberg analyzed the form of moral reasoning that each of his suspect, ugh, subjects used when proposed with a similar dilemma, and then from their reasoning, he categorized them into one of the six stages of moral reasoning. See Blake here? He's broken into this house. What, he sh should he take this longboard or not? He doesn't have a bike or anything, but he's really considering it. What should he do? Oh no, Sam just spilled a bunch of water on his parents' expensive laptop. Should he say that, should he hide it and say that someone stole it while he was away? Or should he fess up and face the consequences?